I'm at the field this afternoon with the FRC Foamies F-18 Hornet. This is our final version of the plane. We're almost ready for the release of the plans. Just wanted to do a final test here. I've uh, painted it in the uh, Blue Angels paint scheme, which I know everybody does that at some point on an F-18, but Jay took a lot of time in SketchUp to make sure that the lines are perfect on this, nice streamlined. Even if I show you the intakes on the bottom of the plane, beautiful. Beautiful job on the intakes and the build of this since it's score and fold is still very easy to do. It takes a little bit of patience to get everything to line up properly, but the uh, build itself is very easy. Because this plane has a rear mounted prop and we don't have thrust vectoring over the control surfaces, I uh, activated every control surface that's on here. I've got the uh, elevons and ailerons moving on a 4x4, got rudders on there. I uh, flip a switch and I get the V-tail coming in there to help on pitch. Hopefully get some more control at slower speeds. And then I also have a spoiler on for high alpha. I've got leading edge slats there for a little bit more lift in the slower flying. And I also have the slats and the flaps. I don't know if you can see those slats and flaps are going down. The nice thing about the DX8 uh, radio is that it allows me to mix a little bit of up elevator to counter the uh, nose drop when you put the flaps on. After a couple dings on the nose, with I, I had the uh, uh, ESC cut out. Whoop, we got it cutting out. So I had to put an external BEC on there, a UBEC. A 5 amper to run all those servos. Uh, the weight is now up to 24 ounces. So I'm using a heads up Zoom 400 motor on 6x3 prop. I upgraded that from a Microjet version 3 since our weight has gone up just a little bit. Another thing I did was use the full flying elevons. You can see the controls I've got there for the elevons to make them full surfaces. That gives a little bit more control. And uh, we'll see how it does.